Hello, everyone. Uh, I would like to congratulate the Construction Industry Development Council for putting together an online conference and exhibition. Uh, that's uh, what's even more important is the importance that has been given to the services sector, especially for the HVACNR industry. RATA, which is the Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Trade Association, is a 72-year-old organization that reaches out to almost close to 6,000 MSMEs in the field of HVACNR. And uh, we reach out by with almost 13 regional committees across the India, across India. And who are these MSMEs? So these micro, small, and medium enterprises are primarily either they are vendors, suppliers, or small manufacturers to large uh, OEMs and brand owners, or are they are uh, they are partners to most of these OEMs in terms of uh, supplies, execution, maintenance work, uh, which is actually the last mile connect to the customers. And that's about 95% of the MSMEs who are in this trade. Now, the COVID uh, times has been absolutely difficult for uh, all the MSMEs in that trade. But uh, yeah, but I, we, we want to believe it that every cloud has a silver lining. And the opportunity here we sense is with the Atmanir Barbarat. Now, if you know, the in the industry, uh, almost close to about 70% of the components are imported. Close to about 30% of the finished products are just manufactured here, but most of it is imported and primarily from one country. And uh, we sense a huge opportunity, especially when the government is looking at uh, uh, supporting the initiative to manufacture locally here in India. And uh, how are we going about doing it? We are primarily reaching out to all the MSMEs, including the government. And uh, we're trying to put in a paper together so that there is a path driven for all these MSMEs to get into the component manufacturing uh, where they can ancillary units for large suppliers. And why not? Because the air conditioning industry, if you go by the Cooling India Action Plan, is uh, slated to grow almost eight times in the next two decades. So that's a huge opportunity within the country itself. And um, that is something we should take advantage of. But for this to happen, uh, there's a huge mindset change that needs to happen. And uh, what is this mindset change that needs to happen? One is from, of course, the existing trade members, people who are already in this business. Uh, they need to actually look at it differently, that, uh, yeah, manufacturing is an opportunity. We need to step in. The second most important thing is a consumer mindset. A consumer mindset will say that, hey, you know, India can actually make great products. We need to give our businesses an opportunity. They need to, they need to, they need to be motivated that listen, Indian products are good. There's a there's a customer a belief around it, and they're ready to give them at least a chance. That's extremely important. So these are two big mindsets that need to change. And when something like this happens, you will have a lot of Indian entrepreneurs who would actually take benefit of this huge opportunity and venture into Atmanirbhar Bharat, or what you call as self-reliance, or in our industry, it's primarily more related to component manufacturing. So in our industry, primarily it is air conditioning. Uh, you know, air conditioning is seen more as a kind of a luxury item, uh, which is very evident when you're kind of pitching it at 28% GST. Seriously? Is air conditioning a luxury item? How many of us are comfortable putting up a project together without air conditioning? Will that project sell? Or let's go a little more personal in your own houses or your own offices. How long do you sit without an air conditioner? We're a tropical country. Air conditioning is not about luxury. It's all about productivity. The unfortunate part is only about 6% of us can actually afford it. So there is a huge opportunity out there as to how do we make it easily accessible to everybody. 
So that's where the growth opportunity is. The second thing is refrigeration. In any country which is developing, refrigeration plays a huge role. It's part of the cold chain infrastructure. Here you have farmers who are uh, struggling to make a survival. And uh, most of their produce goes into waste. How, I mean, the refrigeration industry can play a huge role in this. The cold chain network, which is very much at an early nascent stage, uh, can help solve this problem. Uh, a widely well-established cold chain network can change the game completely for these farmers. And that's an opportunity that is waiting to be explored. And now with COVID, ventilation has become a pretty much the buzzword. Everybody's talking about air quality. I mean, the industry has always been pushing for indoor air quality, but somehow the cost factor takes over saying that, hey, as long as it's cool, it's fine. The air quality is not felt. So it's okay, I can take a compromise. Uh, that's history. That's not going to happen now. So ventilation is a big opportunity. So you have the air conditioning, you have the refrigeration, you have the ventilation, all slated to grow. And there is a government uh, paper, which is the India Cooling Action Plan, which clearly defines that uh, this industry is slated for close to eight times growth in the next two decades. Now, this is an opportunity for Indian entrepreneurship. This is an opportunity for Indian small businesses to scale up and become self-reliant. And why not? Why just be self-reliant? Probably being a tropical country and with such a large opportunity at stake within our own country, we may become the world exporters. We could actually build these products and we could export it. So as I was saying, two mindset changes. That is what we are trying to push for at the association. One. Existing entrepreneurs need to actually venture out to say that, hey, this is an opportunity. I need to step out and I need to get into manufacturing. Second, consumer mindset change. Large companies which are putting up projects need to actually now define saying that, hey, listen, Indian companies can actually make great products. They need to be given an opportunity. And that opportunity is extremely important in building this entire ecosystem. So at the association level, we have a simple vision. We call it the five, 500, and 50,000. What it literally means is in the, over the next five years, if we can create uh, yeah, or if we can get 500 of us, 500 small businesses to set up component manufacturing in India, we could, all, we could create close to about 50,000 jobs uh, and if that can be achieved, uh, pretty much the task of the association is very much established. And my friends, uh, we are a, uh, HVAC trade is something that can create jobs uh, across the spectrum. We can create highly skilled jobs. We've got a lot of engineers, mechanical engineers, consultants who work in our field. We've got a lot of diploma holders, which are semi-skilled. They play a huge role. And we are volume based, a lot of maintenance work. So we have uh, semi skilled and unskilled workers, even in that field. That's in air conditioning, in refrigeration, and ventilation. Uh, so we are, a, we are an industry which has a huge opportunity to create jobs. Uh, and I guess that's, that's the struggle that we are having to explain to the government that um, we need to be given a free hand to grow, not to be taxed. We also have the challenge of uh, getting our consumers to change that India is equally good at making equally good products. Yes, maybe we are behind the timeline when compared to most of the countries that we are competing with, but it's just a matter of time. But with a change of mindset, I think we would be able to get there. So uh, I want you to look at our industry differently. I want you to look at our MSMEs differently. Probably this is a beginning of a change and hopefully over the next two decades, you will see India coming out as a very strong player in the HVACNR segment, not just as a local Indian player, but as a global player. And uh, these are not going to be new companies who are going to take up these positions. The current MSMEs, 
or the current companies who are already in the business will change their mindsets to scale up. What they need is an opportunity, an opportunity that you can create. And we really look forward to the support. So thank you for the Construction Industry Development Council for having put this together and having given an opportunity for our association to put our thoughts across. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.